Finally, the day has arrived, folks. Today, the February 7th, marked the drop of one of the biggest updates since the game release. They rolled out the much anticipated case. A fresh new knife, a skin for those, and a brand new mode, and loads more. Right now, we're on the brink of a revolution in CS2. In the coming days, the game's gonna hit a new all time high in the online players. Before we dive into the video, I gotta ask you guys to smash that like button, hit subscribe and ring that bell so you won't miss out on awesome new videos. 98% of you are watching my videos without subscribing. And don't you dare bounce before the end of the video, you're gonna wanna catch all the updates and I promise, this one's gonna blow your mind. The first thing that strikes you and what everyone's been hyped about in this update is the new case. They dropped some sick skins in there, but what totally blew my mind is the skin for Zeus. Just take a look at how wicked it looks in game. But that's not the only update for Zeus. Now you can use it multiple times with a 30 second cooldown. This trick could totally shift the game's meta, at least that's what drops things. And another tiny tweak for Zeus is the change in how it's held in your hands. Also, as expected, they've thrown a new Kukri knife in this case. Personally, not my cup of tea, but I bet some folks are gonna dig it. Sticking to the topic of skins, the game's also added new stickers and music kits. You can check out each stickers in-game yourself, but what's really groundbreaking is that now you can slap those stickers anywhere you like. You can move them left and right, even spin them a full 360 degrees. It's just insane, I bet none of you saw this coming. And now you can stick 5 stickers on a weapon instead of the previous 4. Another cool feature is the ability to preview how a certain skin will look in game without leaving the main menu. That's a sweet deal. Now, if you snag a new skin, you can check out it right in your inventory. The arm race mode was another highly anticipated addition. I hardly ever played this mode myself, but from what I've gathered on Twitter and Reddit, a lot of folks were missing it. They've added two new maps specifically for this mode. Maybe it's not what you were hoping for this in update, but this mode is definitely gonna spice things up in the game, adding the variety it's been missing. And let's move on to some significant updates, particularly the new smokes. Now smokes cast shadows, and both rendering and animation have been enhanced. It looks pretty slick, but it's too early to tell if that's a hit or miss, or whether it will shake up the current smoke meta. Only time will tell. In the buy menu there is a new feature allowing you to sell everything. It's a minor but handy addition that will save you some more time when you accidentally geared up. They've introduced a setting that allows turning off first person bullet tracers. Silencers can now always be reattached, whether detaching them is enabled or not. I've personally had moments when a teammate removed a silencer and when they gave me a drop I couldn't put it back. That won't be an issue anymore. Also, they've made some changes to subtick shooting. They didn't specify what exactly, but let's hope it's for the better. In one of my previous videos, there were loads of comments about silent jumps. Many of you were really annoyed by this feature in the game, but today you can rejoice because it's been fixed. I've already checked the main spots and can confidently say they're not working anymore. Another bug everyone talked about was getting buffed when you bumped into an enemy or a teammate. It's been in the game since its release, and finally Valve decided it's time to address it. I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm really hoping it's fixed for real. And the last update concerning gameplay is that you can no longer change your loadout while searching for a game in Vinicman, Competitive and Premier modes. I'm not sure who this was bothering or why, but it is what it is. As for sound, there are also several important changes. The main ones include being able to adjust microphone volume in-game and checking how your teammates will hear you. I hope this means no more eardrum blasting experience from overly loud teammate mix. They've also tweaked the sound for those and the M249. Not sure who was unhappy with the old ones, personally I had no issues with them. For those I get they added reload sounds, but what was wrong with the M249 is beyond me. And the last thing about the sound, they fixed an issue where some player-centric sounds were perceived as originating slightly behind the player. Based on your comments under my videos, ping issues have been a huge problem for many of you. Loads of folks mentioned that anything over 40 ping felt unplayable, with significant delays and lag. 
This update has introduced several enhancements related to networking. I'm not too tech savvy in this area, so I can explain the details. If you notice any improvements or differences, be sure to mention them in the comments. This update packs a lot more, including changes to the interface and maps. But you can read about those in patch notes yourself, because if I cover them all in this video, it would stretch to 20 or 40 minutes. Overall, I filled you in on all the major changes and new features that might interest you. If you want an in-depth video about this update, where I discuss each point in detail, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Help me hit that first thousand subscribers mark. That's all for now, catch you in the next video, bye bye!